Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango November here from Survival Tech Nord. I recently received a package from Pactina. This comes at the perfect time because I'm just getting started on the second episode of the Amateur Field Communications series. That upcoming episode is called Portable Antennas for Amateur Field Communications. But let's go ahead and open up this box and see what Pactina has sent along. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign. I was very happy about Pactina reaching out because they have a very good reputation in the ham radio community. So we've seen rugged antennas on the channel before. We've seen compact antennas on the channel before, but I don't recall ever showcasing ultra lightweight shrill friendly antenna systems on the channel before. These should make a good addition. So first out of the box are a package of bungee cords. I'm not sure what these are for, but let's set them aside for now and uh, come back to them later on. Next out of the box is an RG136 coax cable with dual BNC connectors on the ends. Next out of the box is the Pactina Mini Choke, and I'm told it's smaller than the original Pactina Choke, but can handle up to 100 watts. According to the description on the Pactina website, we use this choke to attenuate common mode currents, which are flowing down the shield of our coax cable. It should also do a great job at isolating the antenna from the coax cable. Next out of the box is the Pactena linked dipole for 20 and 40 meters. Now this linked dipole also has the Pactena wireless link installed. The linked dipole with the wireless link is exciting because it allows me to make band changes without leaving the warmth and comfort of my tent. It will definitely be fun to see how this all works out in practice when we test it in the field. Next out of the box is the Pactina Enfed Half Wave. Given everything we've seen out of the box so far, this antenna system is probably the most exciting. Now, generally speaking, the Enfed Half Wave is the portable operator's best friend. Now, if you've spent any time at all reading my blog, you know that I'm an absolute fanboy of the Enfed Half Wave. But I think we're going to set this one up differently. My idea is to set it up as a linked in fed half wave. This way we could set it up for our desired bands by simply adding or removing antenna segments. Next out of the box is the Pactina Mini 9 to 1 random wire antenna. If your rig has a built in or external antenna tuner, this will give you a single antenna for multiple bands. And just like the other Pac-10 antenna systems, its design goal is to be ultra lightweight. Next out of the box is the Pac-10 one-to-one -one feed point ballon. Its job is to match a balanced antenna to an unbalanced feed line. It also reduces common mode current, and it acts as a universal feed point for almost any wire antenna configuration. Now, I haven't seen anything else like this before, but I'm curious if we can use this for twin lead between the antenna feed point and the radio. There were also a few more accessories in the box. Let's take a quick look at those. Ah, these are nice. These are the male banana leads, and we use these so that we can make a custom antenna from the linked dipole. We also find a length of RG58 with BNC connectors. This will be nice between either of the feed points and the radio. Huh. We also have some spare antenna wire. This goes along with the male banana leads so that we can create an additional element or perhaps a custom element for the linked dipole. Maybe I'll just go ahead and display everything on the table so we can have a better look at it. So it looks like what we have here is a very capable, ultra portable antenna toolbox. I think the very first one you'll see on the channel will be the half wave infed. 
Then as time goes on, we'll make our way to the linked dipole and also the 9 to 1 random wire. Before we shut it down, a huge thank you to Pactena for sending out this package. And in addition to Pactena, I'd like to say thank you to all of the manufacturers who have confidence enough to send their products up to 65 degrees north for testing. And there we have it. I'm sure you'll see Pactena on the channel again soon. For those of you supporting the channel, you're absolutely magnificent and I couldn't do it without you. Thank you. For the rest of you, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm creating, please let me know by leaving me a thumbs up and a comment and sharing this video someplace or with someone who might enjoy it. Rock and roll, guys. Thanks for watching.